Hello everyone, today is Friday 17th of April 2020 and we are going to talk about the molecules, okay? Uh, I have to say that molecules are always moving, always, but sometimes they move more and sometimes they move less. We are going to see some examples, okay? Look at this, it says at low temperatures the molecules move very very slowly okay this is a glass of ice with water so the molecules are moving but very slowly like we are like when we are sleeping we move but slowly and uh if we touch the ice cube it feels cold okay because when you don't move you feel cold and the opposite is when uh, the molecules at high temperatures move quickly, like in a hot tea, okay? In a cup of tea, you have a very, very high temperature. So when we touch the tea, it's hot. So the molecules are moving quickly. Can you see? Here, in hot temperatures, they, have, they move very quickly and in low temperatures they move slowly. So molecules in matter have some characteristics. We can find material that is thermal conductor or material that is thermal insulator. What happened with the molecules? Well, let's see. When a material is a thermal conductor, here, when a material is a thermal conductor, its molecules are free to move about. They have a lot of space to move, so they are happy. They move a lot. So they have a space to move. So it can get very hot when you move, when you run, you can get very hot. So molecules too, when they can move, they uh, get very hot. Some examples could be in the cup of tea. And uh, what is a thermal insulator? The opposite. When a material is a thermal insulator, its molecules are close together and they can move because they are very, very close. They don't have space, so they can't move. So they can't get hot, for example, in the uh, glass of ice and water. They can move a lot, okay? So, remember, some materials can be thermal conductor because they have some space and it can get very hot. And some materials are thermal insulators because they don't have a space to move and they can't get hot. So, they are all together and they can move a lot, okay? So it's cold here and here is going to be hot, okay? For example, in the cup of tea or in the ice cube, okay? Let's see some examples. Okay, so we are going to see some examples of thermal conductors and thermal insulators. Okay, we have here a magnifying glass, okay? The glass gets very hot and it burns the paper so the molecules of the glass can get very hot so it's a thermal conductor the glass a wooden spoon because it's made of wood the spoon when we cook with the wooden spoon uh, we don't get hot because the wood don't get uh, hot okay it's a thermal insulator then we have an iron. This is an iron. The plastic protects you from the heat. If you touch the metal, you can get burned. But we use the plastic because it's a thermal insulator and the heat don't pass through the plastic. Okay. Another example is a pan. This is a pan. The metal gets very hot because it's a thermal conductor. Okay, metal, metal is a thermal conductor and glass is also a thermal conductor. And uh, you can cook the food here because it gets very hot. 
but you protect your hand with with the plastic handle. This is a plastic handle, and you protect your hands because the metal is very hot. But plastic is a thermal insulator. Okay, so if we continue here, we can see that you should remember that thermal conductor let pass the heat, let pass uh, the heat, you are hot. And thermal insulator don't let, let pass the heat. Okay, what happened with the molecules? Here in the thermal conductor materials, the molecules have a lot of space and they can move and they get very hot. Some materials that are thermal conductor are the glass or metal. They get very hot. The molecules are moving all the time. And thermal insulator, remember that the molecules don't have a space. They can't move and they can get hot. So it's cold. Some examples are uh, the boot and the plastic are thermal insulator. So they don't let pass the heat. The molecules don't move and so you don't uh, get burned, okay? You can have an accident if you use wood or plastic, you are protected. Okay, so I have a question for you. Uh, can you say, can you say maybe uh, more examples of thermal conductor materials and thermal insulator materials? Can you look uh, information? Or can you look at home? How many materials do you have that are thermal, thermal conductor or materials that are thermal insulator? You should look uh, and find some materials at home, some examples. Okay, if you have some examples, you can tell me. Okay, so uh, what example of Thermal conductors and insulators can you see at home? So please write an example in the Google Classroom, okay? Please in English.